Very good, very good. So if you've never seen a show like this before, these machines, like this machine here weighs about 45 pounds. It is all metal and uh, hydraulic throughout. Electric hydraulic. Being driven with precision. Okay, so people have been asking me to do a new YouTube Gold series, but YouTube Gold was a magic in the bottle scenario. When I moved to Nova Scotia, we did Gold, good old lads digging. Hi, Troy. Hey, everybody. Now, a lot of those guys are actually driving from uh, out of the area that I live in by quite a bit. How far were people coming? Uh, two, three and a half hours. To drive just to be on good old lads digging. So it was really kind of them to do that. Little did I know that in one of the thorniest uh, patches of my creek and property lay a very beautiful sandy patch and if I cleaned out all the thorn hedge out of that creek there was an amazing mine site and Mr. Troy has not seen it yet. No, not yet. Dude, look at all the branches. Hey Scraper. This kind of looks hey, like shaker. my yard. Yeah, right? No. That's a lot of bramble. But, oh. look at this, dude. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> dude, oh my God. a natural sluice box area back here. And then as it has this really sharp turn right here, okay. this is where all the deposits would be. Yup. And then right in through here. So we've got... We have a crane that could like scoop down and grab some of that, right? Correct. Pull that pay out of the river? Uh, we could pull the pay out and put it up on the bank and let it dry and process. And it depends. Like, we could also be getting pay from this side if you see over here. Because there's quite a bit of force that comes around here, but look at all the sand over here and the rocks. Oh, yeah. So it's just a matter of transporting it. So now it's me and, and me. you visiting once in a while. See, you live far away too, don't you? I do now, yeah. How far do uh, I drive? About an hour. One way? One way. You'll be seeing a lot of self-mining here. <laughs> no, I will be here. Well, we got I nothing a but car. equipment. I've got a small car, good on gas. And I've got a gas fund for you. Maybe Listen, better. if we could get the shaker into place today, like I got the shaker here. We gotta work out a layout, don't we? That's pretty much right. But I got the scraper. If you can help uh, push the scraper while I'm running the uh, while you're running the dozer, we can pull those too, right? No, it's best if you. <laughs> <laughs> ah man, I love messing with people. Okay, so the plan is you can see my travel mug of coffee for size comparison here. Full size chain on there, pull the uh, shaker plant, which is basically a multi screen plant that separate, separates aggregate and the, the larger uh, or the powder finer stuff comes down here off to the side. But if we're able to cut in a road down here, along here, and then at least drag the shaker down here we can position it and then make some sort of landing pad up here to feed the shaker so we can start getting piles going. We can't even cut a road in just straight from the top here to go down into there to fill it. Correct. And I also have to say, this creek has been moving for so long, like all this sand has the potential to have stuff in it. It's been, like this creek is hundreds of years old. Yeah, well look how much sediment and how many tight turns uh, there are. Yep. No matter how fast the water turns, Yep. Nothing gets past these big corners. It just keeps flowing through or over. Gold is heavy, man. Yes. All right, first things first. On goes the radio. Two, everything goes up into the up position. Troy, will you please hold this, sir, so I can plug this in? Guy let down the back window so he can get some air conditioning in these things. There you go. lipos in there? I got a 3S lipo in there. It is 5,000 milliamp hour. I'm not 
not kidding when I say this thing is over 60 pounds. Everything is mixed on it, so the pump is only running when I ask it to. Like when you lift the blade or something? Exactly, or adjust the blade. I'm just gonna go down there and kind of push some of that out. Of the way. Okay. There's a whole pile of stuff over here. That was close. It was. These are the dangers we take during these jobs, though. You know that, Troy. Right? Yeah, that's a lot. I'll actually push that the other direction. Amazing that thing will just go right over it. Right? me to move this rock here just don't hit the go GoPro oh the GoPro's fine there all right oh it just turned off by the stick hitting it anyway. oh you turned it off with a stick. With stick I couldn't replicate that if I <laughs> oh man look at this dude they don't even know how big this is on camera that, that okay is back up rock yeah <laughs> that is how big that yeah, is here's the GoPro yeah that there you go idea. That rock probably weighs at least 30, 40 pounds. Probably the same as the damn brig that was pushing it. You know what? You're absolutely <laughs> right. Just for a second here. Yeah. Um, what you just said about AI, that's cool. The artificial intelligence. Yeah. And then setting it, then what the hell would we be doing? That's very cool. We could be operating other machines at the same time. Wouldn't that be good? Okay, that's better. We could All right. have a whole right. team of mining. But you still have to have And just be the two of us. Well, telling you know, the robots what to do. We're just a couple of jack wagons doing a couple of jack wagon things talking about AI and we want this to be more than one episode, right? I don't know. <laughs> they might cancel it right now. Okay, sir, this is your shot. Look at this. Look, okay, I'll actually teach Troy how to film nice and steady. Remember, what, what you see on the screen is what they see on the screen. Two hands. So I have to adjust my blade the whole time I'm driving up and down. That's what a dozer driver does, just to start smoothing things out. See the road behind me nice and smooth. You'll be even dragging a root with me, I was. Look at the front, Troy, look at the blade here. You can see I've been trimming it off as I go. Yes! It's yeah. almost like we don't need the road scraper, but you know what? We have the tool, we need to use it. We need to use the road scraper. That's it. This isn't a road until it's been scraped by the scraper. I agree. All right, power on. Power on. <laughs> yes. All right, let's do this. He's wearing a crash helmet. Seems appropriate at my mind site. Just incredible. Okay, let's get that bucket down. Sir, 
boy backblading along the side. Shout out to Rookie and all the old gold crew and YouTube gold crew. Thinking of you guys right now reminds me of when we went mining in the mountains all those years ago, Troy. That riverside. Cr Crazy Joe and I finally didn't wear our uh, hard hats and of all things it started to hail. <laughs> yeah. Are you stuck on a giant? I'm stuck on a root there. I know I am. Nice. Great piloting. Clearing out that whole area. And it ain't no small area, is it? No, it's not. Beautiful. That D10, just a giant scale. Thank you, sir. This will sincerely help. Thank you very much. Yeah. Give me a little push in the caboose there. Don't tell anyone I said that. <laughs> I'll keep it between us. <laughs> oh, lower, sir, lower. Very good. Here we go. Oh, you gotta line up, sir, line up. It's like we've never done this before. Well, Let, lift, lift your blade, lift your blade. Lift your blade and then even it out. There you go, there you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, now lower. There we go. Thank you, sir. Push. Very good. It's working. It's working. Excellent job, sir. Look at that beautiful scrapage. Yes, yeah, sir. Whoa! Dude! We did it! That was awesome! That was awesome! Look at that road! Dude! It's even level! I'm enjoying I don't know how we did that. that. I don't know how we did that. I think the way you were doing that was absolutely on point, sir. Good job. Thank you, sir. Uh, that was fantastic to do. Good one, isn't it? No, that is the one that I aged on purpose. It looks old, but it is very it new. Look like, it doesn't look like, <laughs> it doesn't look like the same chemical burns. <laughs> that was the one I welded the other day. Okay. <laughs> it up. Man, these things take a lot of practice. Hey, okay, let's bring down that shaker. That thing is running on a 2200 3S LiPo. Yep, 12 volts and very small hourage. Yep. That would only make my plane fly for about 12 minutes. Yes, <laughs> yes. It is very surprising what this machine will do. The gearing man has to be huge. Yes, especially running two brushed motors, running, or two brushless motors, mm. plus the, uh, the sound pump. kit, the hydraulic pump motor, all of the above. Oh, are you hooked and ready? Uh-huh. So basically, I, I hooked up some size-appropriate chain. 
couple of hooks on there and then a bungee for his ripper just to make it, you know, exciting. Oh, you stalled out, dude. It's because they've been sitting so long. See if you can go forward and pick up the bungee. Oh, you're ripping into the ground. Pull up, pull up your ripper. Because you know every good ripper can uh, pull a bungee cord. Ah uh, yes. The great pull towards the mine site. Looks like you're going to run into a root. Oh nice! Powering through. I figure it's going to give some elastic strength to it. <laughs> you're doing it bud. Very good. not light by any means. Oh! Dude! It's going too fast, wasn't I? People say when they watch the other gold series that I was way too harsh with my friends. But, what the f***? Hmm. rig it and then we'll get you to unstrap you know what it was probably the bungee power that did it can you back up a little bit oh you didn't even start it how is that possible okay well i don't know how that's yeah, possible there actually <laughs> yeah there you go uh so yeah there we go yeah so i'm gonna re-rig this could you just actually bring the dozer right where i am standing we're gonna see if we can So I'd like you to turn around and we're just going to pull it straight and I'm hoping that it's going to catch that same rock and want to flip it. But when you go to flip it, please go nice and slow. Yep. Very good. Troy has been running RC vehicles for years and years. Been a fan of the RC Adventure Show for 13 years at least. Lift up your ripper, bro. Lift it up. There you go. All the way. There you go. Now, nice and slow forward. Hit it. Yeah, nice and slow. It's on springs, man. Keep her going. Hey, there we go. I know you're being careful. I appreciate that, bud. I didn't want to tip it to the other That's so I appreciate that. Good job. Okay, I've got the chain done up again. I never really ask the guys to do things I wouldn't do myself. It just doesn't seem fair. Hey Aaron? Yeah? It's just Guy. That's true. <laughs> it's just me. But I mean over the years. Oh, okay. This ain't my first gold mine. Skids are working out pretty nice. Yeah. Now that we leveled the road. Thing. Good thing we put that bungee on there too then. Well, why is that? Well, because it, it's gonna keep constant pressure on that chain. Oh. Whoa. Oh, very good. A double sigh of relief. Hey. 
it's not very level in here. And before <laughs> we bring that in here. So we're a little jumping the gun again. Let's uh, get that wheel loader in here and get some of that sand over here and we'll start filling this in so it's more uh, cool. level. Yeah, a lot of batteries. Pull the other dial down. There you go. Whoa. You're in high gear. The uh, switch on your top right hand will switch you to low gear. Did that help? We could be sitting on a gold mine. <laughs> I get out of the way. to dig he's gonna dig up and lift as he digs see that that helps cut into the oh, land the wrong way. oh you're doing fine man for not running it for years you're you caught right back on make some noise for Troy in the comments section folks not easy to work at a mine site Very good. up and try to pull sideways which is a huge risk when you're using We did it, dude. Oh, oh. I guess that one's on me. Yeah, I was taking my union appointed break. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Good job, eh? That's. Yep. Even the boss is a hoser. 